Earlier in the show, we discussed the latest January 6th hearing and an assault weapons ban, potentially. And now we're joined again by Representatives Robin Kelly, Raja Krishnamurthy, and Jan Schakowsky. Again, we also invited all of the Republicans in the Illinois congressional delegation, but none accepted our invitation. And thanks to the three of you uh, for, for staying with us for this, this conversation. So um, I want to start with Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton, who testified in Washington today that Illinois is a, quote, island for reproductive rights after the Supreme Court overturned Roe and that the state needs help with a flood of patients coming here. Take a look. Illinois and other states with legal abortion need more access to federal money to support demand. Congresswoman Schakowsky, could Illinois get federal funding to help with this influx of patients coming here? And where would that funding come from? Well, I'm hoping that it would, although um, I have to uh, announce an executive order that has a number of really important things that are going to help uh, women, help women across the, uh, the country. But, you know, in Illinois, we have reason to be proud. Um, we have one of the very best laws, and I think women will become be coming to the state of Illinois um, in droves, probably, to get access to abortions. I hope that there could be more federal dollars to, to, uh, to, to help them, but we have every reason to be uh, proud of Illinois. And the president has talked about what he wants to do is for sure in this executive order, protect the right to travel. Imagine some of these states want to prohibit women from even going out of state to have their reproductive rights realized. Uh, Congresswoman Kelly, uh, Democrats have scheduled votes on abortion access, including protecting the right to travel, as we just heard from uh, heard about from Congresswoman uh, Schakowsky. But with Republicans and at least one Democrat opposed in the Senate, are the measures uh, that are being proposed, are they bound to fail? Is there a, a legislative path here? I mean, we still have to try. We, you know, that's what happened on uh, the gun vote that people never thought would pass. We still did what we needed to do and pass it over to the Senate, didn't come back exactly like we wanted. And I think we still have to try and on all these advocates, you know, around the country, we need their help and support, you know, also. But um, because of what they will or won't do, that doesn't mean we don't do what we need to do and then do everything we can to make sure um, something um, gets passed in the Senate, something that will help, not just anything. Uh, Congressman Krishnamurthy, you talked about, you know, the, the filibuster earlier on. The president supports changing the filibuster in the Senate to codify abortion rights, but no action uh, has been taken yet on that or voting rights. Are, are Democrats frustrated by how uh, slowly things are moving, especially as we approach the midterms? Yes, but it's not a time to agonize. It's a time to organize. This is the time when we've got to get people to recognize that in one election cycle, we could elect uh, at least two or three new senators, I don't care if they're Republicans or Democrats, who would be willing to create that carve out at the least in the filibuster rules for reproductive freedom, gun rights, voting rights. And I think that uh, that would be a game changer. In the meantime, holding those votes is important for making sure we get people on the record. We know exactly where they stand on reproductive freedom, and uh, then we hold them accountable at the polls in November. Finally, one other issue that I just want to bring up is we have to absolutely protect the privacy of all data that women have entrusted to technology companies, app companies, uh, with their reproductive and sexual health. I've launched an investigation with Carolyn Maloney, my colleague on the Oversight Committee, to make sure that the app companies that have this data um, share um, exactly with whom they've provided this information or to whom this they provide this information and to make sure that they don't provide it to overzealous prosecutors who are going to go after these women based on that information. Um, and so we have to take all these measures, protecting women's right to travel, uh, protecting their uh, uh, the privacy of their uh, sexual and reproductive health information, and then making sure that medication, abor abortion medication is also available and accessible and we protect the providers and pharmacists who dispense it. And speaking of the midterms, Representative Kelly, uh, President Biden's low approval ratings, 39 percent voter turnout uh, for the primary, also low, around 20 percent statewide. 
as the chair of the Democratic Party of Illinois, what are you doing to mobilize voters um, as, you know, inflation and gas prices are so high right now? Right. The gas prices uh, are coming down, uh, as, as the news reported. We're trying to touch as many Democrats as possible, get as many people registered, get as many people to the polls. We have volunteers all over the state. We have data, you know, available for people. We have allies that we're working with. We have county chairs and township Democratic chairs. Uh, we, we are all over and also trying to help people realize the importance of the vote in November. It's generational. It's not just about two years. And also why some of the things we're dealing with now that we don't like, why we're dealing with them is because of who's at the table, particularly on the with the Republican Party. So we, we want to see voting rights and gun violence and a uh, woman's right to choose and privacy and even things on economic development. We have to have the right people at the table and it's up to the public uh, to, um, you know, cast their vote. Representative Schakowsky, uh, you know, speaking of President Biden, is, is it a misstep for him to go to Saudi Arabia uh, after he promised during his campaign that he would make the kingdom a pariah? Well, we'll see exactly what the goal is to um, maybe extract some things from the uh, from, from, from the Saudis. But I, I, I just I, I want to say this. There has been right now a sea change in the enthusiasm gap. Democrats right now are in the lead and all of the incumbent senators are Democratic incumbent senators are winning right now, according to the, the, the polls. So I think a lot of people are concentrating more, not on uh, the, the foreign uh, uh, troops that the president is making, but on the issues that are affecting their daily lives, like if the, taking away abortion rights, it's a tsunami out there People who are protesting that. And uh, we're seeing that in the polls now. Okay, that's where we'll have to leave it. Um, our thanks to Representatives Robin Kelly, Raja Krishnamurthy, and Jan Schakowsky for joining us.